Yo, what's happening gamers? Thank you for tuning in. Uh, today we're going to be showing you guys how I've been making my thumbnails using ChatGPT 4.0. Everybody's been asking me about this, asking me how I make these thumbnails using ChatGPT because uh, if you're like me and you have no artistic skills, don't have a budget to hire an artist, this is probably the most budget friendly way to make pretty sick looking thumbnails in my opinion. So we'll go through the step by step process that you need to know to make your own sick thumbnail just like I've been doing. Hope you guys enjoy the video and uh, let's get jumping into it. So first thing you're going to do is go to chatgpt.com. I think it's 20 bucks a month and you'll get these options. Chat GPT 4.0 for daily tasks, uh, mini for fastest, and chat for the, is just basically the, the original. So I like to go to the uh, 4.0 because it's the newest one. You come down here where it says message chat GPT. And now we're just going to use like another Fortnite thumbnail for, um, you know, for a, a tutorial here because that's what I make thumbnails for. So we'll just basically go through the idea of what we want here let's say that we want it's a dr doom season thumbnail right so or dr dr doom season in fortnite so we're gonna make a dr doom thumbnail maybe one with him uh i don't know taking out one of the members of the fantastic four or something right so let's just start out by by letting it know what we want right you just you you, you basically just type in what you have the idea in your head and then we'll refine it as we do a couple more you know we'll kind of get the first layout and then we'll kind of work from there to make it better and uh, get exactly what we want so spelling does not matter so if you're like me and you got the spelling capacity of a drunken monkey on heroin you'll still be able to it'll understand what you what you're trying to say so we'll say please you'd be nice too i like being nice sometimes so let's say please make me a fortnite thumbnail that is it's all 1280 by 720 if you want Fortnite thumbnails. Res. Okay, now, now, or res. We'll say res for resolution. It knows. It's smart. Okay, so we were going to want, uh, make Dr. Doom standing on a pile of skulls with a huge green storm in the background okay in the background now i like to use words like uh make it dynamic dynamic and have lots of energy have lots of energy now you can tell my grammar is horrible i know it's horrible guys and then you just hit enter right and now this is going to give us the first idea of what we're working with and then we'll tell it what to change from here and one thing I want to make sure you guys understand is like it's not going to redo the same image over and over again. You can never make the same image again exactly. So I just keep running like I mean that's sick chat. Look that's the first go. Oh my god that's so good. I might use that. All right so this is a usable thumbnail. I'd put this in my downloaded section just because it's it's really pretty good. He's got all his fingers. You want to make sure that the, the players or the characters that you're doing, there's going to be small little errors in it. So you got to overlook some things, but as long as like he has five digits, four digits, you know, you don't see the thumb over there, but I think that's fine. Um, nothing weird, like two right hands, two left feet. Everything looks pretty flowy. Again, you're going to have to overlook some small things, but for the most part, this is a great, this is a great thumbnail. I almost would have went with this one, but let's say that we did want to change it, even though I think that this one's already perfect. What would we want to change? Let's say that we want to change the background. I'd say I would, I would go back. Well, first you could download that one, right? So you have it in your file. I'd go back and I'd say, that's, just talk to it like it's your buddy at school. That's great. Now, wait, wait, wait. Now, can we make it have a background like a Fortnite forest? That sounds good, but like a, with a Fortnite forest, and what else do we want to add in there? Is there anything else we want to... I'll just say and make it more dynamic for us and make it even more dynamic. Now, again, if it was me, I would just start re-rolling this one a bunch of times. But I just wanted to show you guys how you can kind of mess with it. And then we'll re-roll it. Because what I would do now is once you, once you think that it understands the basics of what we're doing here, like it's got a good thumbnail, you just might want a couple of different looks at it, a couple of different options to choose from. Let me see what this one does. All right, th this is a great one. That, I think that one's almost better than the other one, right? Like, they're both really good, but this one feels a little more Fortnite-y over the top one. So let's look at this. We'll download this. And I'm going to see if anything's wrong. Okay, see his hand? This is exactly what I'm talking about. See how his, his one finger splits off into a fork and it makes two right there? 
So this is one that's really close. This would have been a perfect thumbnail if it wasn't for just the little AI problems that it has. So I suggest re-rolling everything five times. And by re-rolling, after you get a thumbnail, even if you like it, you can always come back to it. You can just say, do it again. So I'm going to hit that little, that little re-roll item. It's going to do it again. And then you could do this like as many times as you want. I think there's a limit to how many times you can generate an image in an hour. So I would just say, you know, four or five, six times and then pick the best one that you like out of that. Make sure one, two, three, four, five. I mean, again, they have really hard times on the fingers. So I would definitely uh, pay close attention to like fingers, toes, digits, those kind of counts. But that's how you do it, man. Then you just keep adding what you want. You talk to it like it's your drinking buddy. And you just remember that AI is not perfect, but it's still a lot better than what stuff I can do out there. So I know this will help a lot of you guys out there. Just get in there, type in what you want. Make sure you're very specific with your instructions. The more specific you are, the better the uh, outcome, it seems. And then just keep re-rolling. Just keep re-rolling till you find one that looks absolutely amazing. And there is certain things, chat, that like it has trouble. I tried making, uh, what is it, Combo, Clombo, whatever that dinosaur guy is in Fortnite. I tried making a, a thumbnail with him, and it just couldn't figure out what I was trying to ask it to do. So uh, some, some ideas you might just have to abort, but I think... Like I said, for, for most people out there, this is going to change the game on the thumbnail uh, market. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you turn on those notifications, smash that like button, and come check out our daily live streams. We love being here, hanging out with you guys. We're trying to break the mo most moderators in the world. I think we're currently at like 400 right now, maybe a little over 400. So stop by the live stream. I'll mod you guys up, and then you can help us break that. Uh, I think we're trying to get like 2,500. So we got a long ways to go. Get your mama, get your granny, get your girlfriend, everybody you know, get them in that live stream, and uh, tell them it's going to be a fun time. All right, chat? Peace.